name is by birth Alexander and I only use that when it's a very official context but a lot of people know me colloquially as Alexand. Having the label, um, it can it can help a lot of people feel like they belong and that they're not alone in things. But I suppose for me, having the kind of loose umbrella of genderqueer allows me to, you know, not have to explain it. <laughs> because I am still figuring it out. I, I really am. Like, it's quite... It's quite a new realization for me over the past few months that this is where I'm at, what I'm, what I'm comfortable with, and who I am. But um, I don't particularly have a label for it yet. Alexander is just starting a challenging journey at university. Fifty-four years ago, I began a similar journey. It's like travelling an open road with the whole world spread in front of you with only a distant star to guide. Throughout primary school, I was a bit of a loner child. I didn't really have many friends. I was one of these kids that had um, no friends that were boys. And because of that, a lot of people picked on me. I got asked if I was a girl a lot, but before anyone knew what the term gay was or the F slur. I'm so proud to present this message to Alexand in recognition of his fortitude, courage and resilience. I want him to have lots of hope and give him lots of encouragement. And yes, Alex, I've felt you cry too. It's like raindrops crashing down on my head again. Sometimes there are so many things that bog me down that I kind of forget that it's all fluid and that it'll end and sometimes I feel like I'm stuck. And I overstress myself, I overwork, you know, I get involved in everything I can because, you know, I want to help out as many people as I can, I want to experience as many things as I can, but at the same time, that does take a toll. It's quite funny actually, a lot of people, um, when you come out to them, they're like, oh, when did you find out, when did you know? And for me, it's one of those things where I go, you know, when did you find out you were straight? It's a bit corny, but, and it's totally impossible, but something I've always kind of felt, but never really thought about until recently was, I want to meet everyone in the world. I guess because um, strangers are kind of my favorite people. They're totally new. You have a fresh slate. There's no mistakes. There's no, you know, thoughts about you. Alex, the water is wide and troubles will come. But when they do, here's a boat for two. We both can row, you and I. I too had a dream. So remember, there's help at hand to raise you up to all you can be. Just keep smiling. <laughs> and so you too can stand on mountains and walk on stormy seas. What you need now, no, you have now, is and more and still more. <laughs>